first frame to the last frame of the episode, you really want to get in there with the music and tell the story and move it along and keep the pacing happening, and especially with an action thriller like The Fugitive. Music's a key part in driving the story. Son of a bitch, that's Mike Farrell. Hi, I'm Tony Morales, and we're here at the Eastwood Scoring Stage on the Warner Brothers lot, and we're about to record music for the series The Fugitive, which you can check out now on Quibi. To getting the sound that I was after was certainly recording a live string section. We have 22 players here today, and that's just gonna give the score just the right amount of authenticity for that kind of action thriller sound that you would expect to hear when you go into a movie theater to see a big, you know, fun ride of a movie. So our main character, The Fugitive, his name is Mike Farrow, and he's played by Boyd Holbrook. He is essentially the hero of the story, being falsely accused, and you want to root for him to clear his name. He, in essence, is the hero theme of the series. We brought back a French horn, which is very traditional with the hero sound. Also harkens back to the sound from the film from the 90s along with strings, not as much as the updated modern thing because it's just more of your traditional hero sound. And it seems to work out great. Here we go. Make no mistake about this. This is our investigation. Someone has attacked my city again. Another character, Clay, played by Kiefer Sutherland, he's an LAPD officer and he's the one who actually is chasing our hero, Mike. Let's go make our case. His theme has these large percussion, string, brass. If anything, his sound is a little bit more of an homage to the original score from the 90s movie. The series has a, uh, a key character named Pity, and she's a reporter who decides to tweet without knowing for sure that this guy planted the bomb or not. And so musically, we um, support her with this kind of fast-paced, busy, mischievous theme that you hear come and go uh, throughout the story as we uh, see it unfold. Her theme is a combination of strings, piano, harp, mixed with uh, electronic rhythms and more modernized bass sounds to kind of go with the new technology. I am going to arrest you. Every episode ends on a cliffhanger type of note. So you are ready to move on to the next episode to see what happens. So musically, um, falling right in line and supporting that sort of like build up climax. So that way, um, you know, you're left with anticipation at the end of the episode. You really are picking up the next scene. So it was important to come out with the right energy and the right tone to keep it moving. I'm hoping the score when you're watching The Fugitive takes you on the thrill ride of the series because it's a lot of fun, it's a lot, there's a cat and mouse chase, there's a manhunt, there's a lot of cliffhanger from episode to episode, and with the music, we're constantly driving and moving along, and it moves at a very fast pace. Yes, that sounds like the future. Good. So thank you for joining me tonight. I hope you had a good time watching us record the music for The Fugitive. Uh, it's a super fun watch, and I hope you can check it out soon. Yeah.